Waypoint. We are on our way to Waypoint 2, which will be 20 meters away from station, and we will hold and do some checks, do a go, no go, hold to ensure that we are okay to approach for docking. And we have those views back already. As you mentioned, Jesse, you can really see those four forward bulkhead thr thrusters the closer we get. Wow, and you can really see the detail on the International Space Station with how close we are. We're approaching waypoint two, which will be 20 meters in front of the station. That's why you can see it so close up in that last view. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. The ground is go for approach two. At this point, please confirm that the lighting conditions are acceptable to proceed and let us know if you are go for approach two and docking. Once we get close enough, we will do a soft capture, followed by the insertion of the pins for the hard capture. We also heard the core mention uh, once that we reach the crew hands off point, that's the chop call we'll hear. Retreat and breakout are not permitted. And that would be from the crew. The vehicle can still abort if necessary, but as we said, everything continuing to look good for Crew Dragon, ready to depart waypoint two. Final approach has begun. Crew Dragon moving in toward the International Docking Adapter on Node 2. Kate Rubin standing by on the International Space Station monitoring their approach. We heard just a few moments ago, too, that the crew had reached 10 meters away from the International Space Station, so already halfway there from Waypoint 2. But only about a little over a minute from docking. You can see on those display panels the crew watching as they approach that node port two. And what you could see directly in the center of the docking adapter, that is the A-pass hatch. Um, once we do do a hard capture um, and do leak checks. That will be the first hatch that will open, followed by the dragon hatch. And if you look closely in the center at the Maybe very bottom, chop. there was chop, crew hands off point. Standing by for contact. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture confirmed. Dragon copies, and we see the same. As you heard that call out, soft capture is now complete. Next will be hard capture. This is where the pins will insert themselves into that docking adapter and create a hard lock. And we had that soft capture at 8.01 p.m. Pacific time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern time. Crew Dragon and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles over Idaho. That is Kate Rubens aboard the International Space Station, stepping through the procedures to bring Crew Dragon on board. 
And the hatch she just opened obviously is on the station side of node two. That is the pressurized mating adapter hatch. It's open. Copy all. Ruben's confirming the A-pass hatch is open and now we can see it for ourselves. Taking a look inside with the flashlight, she will also remove that docking target that Crew Dragon used to align itself with Node 2 when making its approach earlier today. And a really cool shot from Dragon seeing Kate inside of that vestibule. <laughs> Kate saying hi to the world. Getting in there, getting a good look at the hatch seals. And there they are, first across the hatch, Mike Hopkins. And here's Victor Glover. You heard the crew here, uh, the team here on in Mission Control cheering to see them come, come across the hatch. There's Shannon Walker. And finally, Suichi Noguchi bringing up the rear. Four new members bringing the total Expedition 64 crew to a total of seven. Ready to uh, increase the space station science and, and get to work.
Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Are you ready for the event? At Houston, this is Station. At Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Mr. Morhard, please call Station for a voice check. Mr. Morhard, please call Station for a voice check. Miss Leaders, please call station. Miss Leaders, for a voice please check. call station for a voice check. <laughs> Hi, this is Kathy Leaders. Hi, this is Kathy Leaders. Um, here at the Johnson, um, Space, Center at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. How do you hear me? How do you hear me? Hello, Kathy. We hear you loud and clear. Wow, I can't tell you wow, how great I can't it was to tell see you how great it was to see you all come across the hatch. It means a lot it to me. It just means and, a lot um, to me. On behalf and of um, the on behalf joint of the SpaceX and joint NASA SpaceX team, and NASA you know team have, uh, who you know have uh, expended a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, lot of blood, um, sweat, and tears. Um, and our nation who's been following along with you. And our nation who's been following along with you. You guys have been going on your journey. I can't tell you how proud we of we are of you and how much we want to congratulate you. Mission. For this it's been really cool to watch you. Well, thank you, Kathy. Uh, you know, we just want to say um, thank you to everybody SpaceX, NASA, uh, the DoD, just all across the nation. Um, it, it's been an incredible journey, and uh, it's, it's really amazing that this is march, uh, marking the start of, of operational. Uh, crew rotation missions to the International Space Station from the Florida coast. And, and so it was uh, it was an amazing ride. I, I can't tell you uh, how excited we were when uh, that rocket lifted up the pad and, and then the last 27, 27 hours have, has gone really smooth, actually. And so we are so excited to be here. Um, we are humbled and uh, we are excited to be a part of uh, this great expedition. And so we are looking forward to the next six months and can't wait to get started. Yeah, thank you for uh, letting me get to say hello to you all and being there a little bit on station with you all. And um, I just want to tell you how proud we are of you. We're expecting a lot from you, <laughs> a lot of good work up there. Um, not only are we proud in this nation of you, but our international partners are extremely proud of you. And I know I have some folks in Japan that also want to give you some greetings. So with that, I'm going to turn it back to Mission Control. Thank you, Ms. Leaders. We now welcome JAXA President Dr. Yamakawa Hiroshi to provide remarks. Dr. Yamakawa, please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Yamakawa. How do you hear me? Yamakawa-san, we hear you loud and clear. This is International Space Station. Thank you, Noguchi-san. We were very much excited about your launch this morning. It inspired courage and delight of all Japanese citizens who bear up COVID-19 pandemic. Anyway, I really feel relieved by your safe arrival to the station now. Noguchi-san, it is very sig significant for JAXA that you were on board the first operational spacecraft of Crew Dragon and was launched from the American soil. I believe that this is the outcome of the, of the long-standing partnership with NASA and all the, all the other international partners. I also believe that your efforts at ISS from today will take on more importances, importance on the ISS utilization and operations and for future international space exploration beyond the, the low Earth orbit to the Moon and Mars. We are always behind you. Good luck and enjoy your time in space. Noguchi-san, minasan, zen shuchu de ganbatte kudasai. Uh, thank you, Dr. Yamakawa. Thank you for the kind words. And uh, we are very humble and uh, happy to be here. This is the first uh, operation of flight of the Crew Dragon. And I take uh, 27 hours, but we enjoy every moment. And uh, from now on, we are part of this uh, great uh, expedition crew member, Expedition 64. We have a lot of uh, utilization ahead of us, and uh, we are ready to work. 
あ日本の皆さん、そして山川理事長、本当にありがとうございます、えー、この ISS にまた戻ってくることができて、とても、えー、感無量です。日本の皆さん、そして世界中の皆さん、今年はコロナはじめ、非常に厳しい状況があったかと思いますけれども、この困難に打ち勝つという気持ちで、われわれもレジリエンスと名前をつけて、頑張ってきてます、理事長おっしゃられた通り、全集中で頑張りたいと思います、応援、本当にありがとうございます。Thank you, Ms. Leaders and Dr. Yamakawa, for your participation in the Crew One welcome ceremony. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communication.